Indonesia, as the largest archipelago country in this world, located in the Southeast Asia that cross the equator, has bring Indonesia a supportive climate to develop its agriculture industry such as farm and livestock. But in the other hand, the high number of Indonesian's population that reach more than 2 million is not balanced by the consumption of calories and proteins, which makes most Indonesians are malnourished, especially in the needs of animal protein. I'm Victor Deka Sevanya, and I'm from University of Vijaya Kusuma, Surabaya, would like to present you Good Ternak. Did you know, according to the data from PSG 2016, that there are 51.9% of pregnant mothers that lack of protein consumption in Indonesia. By those facts, Indonesia has not reached its food security at the point. Talking about the food security, FAO has defined what food security is. Food security is the condition when every family who get enough good quality food so there are no risk at malnutrition and who's to blame? supported by the research of Talaf 2015 stated that Indonesian needs of meat is increased each year so that makes our government decided to import the livestock from other country in percentage of 34% and then the meanwhile the 66% is from our local cows. But the increase of the needs when it's not balanced by the supply, our food security is on risk. So here today I would like to present good data to optimize our agriculture segment especially livestock industry in a potential area that has not been touched by our government such as Anabas, Gloria, Indonesia. I would like to educate people there about livestock management and find them young investors from big cities such as Surabaya so that Indonesia will fulfill our needs needs with our own faith. So swasembada daging Indonesia, it will not be possible anymore. I'm very glad to have you.